Welcome to this channeled forecast for the week of October 23rd to 29, 2023. Here I focus on the major aspects with an emphasis on the personal and interpersonal influences. All times of Pacific Standard Time. You'll find timestamps in the caption as well as comment section so you can easily return to the relevant days you need. The visuals used are to enhance the forecast but in no way necessary to understand the content so feel free to simply listen along. As the week begins we stand at the threshold of a full moon lunar eclipse. Poised between eclipses, many of us with breaths baited, aware that this is when the cosmos often delivers its surprises. We're now also in Scorpio season with the Sun, Mercury and Mars in this enigmatic water sign. It's a time of profound transformation where we get a chance to delve into our innermost desires, confront hidden truths and embrace change. The energy of Scorpio is all about rebirth, shedding old skin and emerging stronger and wiser. The full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus on Saturday, October 28 marks the closing act of this series along the Taurus-Scorpio axis that began in 2021. Ruled by Venus, we're reflecting on relationships and investment decisions we have made since 2021 and letting go of whatever is no longer a part of that journey. The conjunction of Mars and Mercury in Scorpio opposing Jupiter and Taurus fuels intense and passionate communication, potentially leading to profound discussions with partners, though this can also lead to heated confrontations. Expect the unexpected as carefully laid plans are possibly met with resistance thanks to this fixed energy and as Scorpio unveils hidden desires. Within the eclipse's shadow, a moment of personal revelation can guide each of us onto an entirely unforeseen new journey. On Monday, October 23rd, just before 9.30am, the Sun entered Scorpio. Now the Sun, Mercury and Mars are all in this potent sign. With the days growing shorter and the air crisper, we're prompted to explore inner depths. Just as the trees shed their leaves, Scorpio season has us releasing what no longer serves us. While we traverse this watery landscape, we're invited to delve deep into the recesses of our souls. Scorpio's influence brings with it a desire to uncover the mysteries within and without. We are unmasking, both literally and figuratively, as we embrace the power of metamorphosis. Much like the caterpillar that becomes a butterfly, Scorpio season urges us to shed our old skins and emerge stronger, wiser and more aligned with our true selves. As the veil between worlds thins and the night's magic unfolds, be prepared to embark on a journey of self-discovery and profound change. This Scorpio sun is trying Saturn in Pisces, bringing a sense of discipline, stability and a keen focus to Scorpio's transformative energy. The water elements give us a balance between emotional depth and practicality. During this time, we might find it easier to make long-lasting changes and commitments that resonate with our inner selves, going after our goals with determination and a touch of Piscean intuition. Around noon, the Aquarius moon is square Uranus and Taurus, which might throw something unexpected our way. Stay flexible and aware that obstacles are usually just temporary, and whatever doesn't work out could turn out to be a blessing in disguise. A proverbial bullet dodged. The Aquarius moon then goes for a very long void of course period from just afternoon until it enters Pisces overnight just after 1.30am. So for the rest of the day, pause, reflect and go with the flow until Pisces takes the stage in the wee hours. On Tuesday, October 24th, in the middle of the night, the waxing moon made its way into Pisces and joined Saturn, both trying the sun in Scorpio, hopefully giving us deep and undisturbed sleep with mystical dreams woven from the magic of these water signs. With daybreak, the waxing Pisces moon is trying Mercury, creating a synergy of intuition, communication and passion. Conversations and psychic impressions are likely to be profound. By mid-afternoon, the moon extends its trine to Scorpio Mars, infusing our actions with vigor, determination and passion. It's a day where dreams meet action, words resonate with purpose and our goals are propelled forward. As the night sets in, the Pisces moon forms a sextile with Jupiter and Taurus. It's a harmonious evening, ushering in a sense of optimism and expansion. This has us dreaming big and trusting in the abundance of the universe, setting a positive tone for bedtime. 
On Wednesday, October 25th, while we slept, the almost full moon was opposite Venus in Virgo. We might wake up with some vivid and emotionally charged dreams. Analyzing these could give insights into relationship dynamics. Mars in Scorpio is building in the opposition to Jupiter and Taurus, igniting our inner fire and passion and creating a strong desire for expansion and abundance. It can also lead to impulsiveness, conflicts and burnout if not carefully managed. Taking time out to pause, center and reflect can provide the drive to tackle what had until now seemed like insurmountable challenges so we can achieve incredible goals. Today, the Pisces moon connects with the three outer planets, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto, that cast their influence from the depths of the universe. First, it is sextile Uranus and Taurus, inspiring innovative and unexpected emotions and creativity. As the day progresses, the moon takes us on a voyage into the mystical realm as it aligns with Neptune in its own sign, Pisces. Sensitivity, creativity and intuition are high. And as bedtime approaches, it is sextile powerful Pluto and Capricorn, deepening our connection to all that is hidden and our potential for rebirth. Making for a day filled with sensitivity and transformative power that invites us to explore the vast landscape of our emotions and imagination. Write, dance and create on this cosmic ride. The moon then goes void of course just after 11.30pm before entering Aries tomorrow just after 3am. On Thursday, October 26, the Aries moon may not form any major aspects, but its presence in the fiery sign ignites our emotions just two days before a potent lunar eclipse. Meanwhile, in the Scorpio realm, Mercury finds itself positioned between the Scorpio Sun and Mars, drawing ever closer to the planet of war and action. Both Mars and Mercury are building in tension through their opposition to Jupiter and Taurus, adding intensity and a strong desire for expansion. It's a day where communication and action are charged with transformative energy. And not to be forgotten, Pluto in Capricorn continues its square with the North Node in Aries and South Node in Libra, signifying a persistent tension between the old and the new, a cosmic push-pull urging us to evolve. To navigate this day, balance is paramount. At work, communicate with depth and precision. Use Mars's determination wisely and avoid impulsive decisions. With friends, be emotionally aware while at the same time embracing that Aries fire for some spontaneity. Fun can still be had even in eclipse season. And on a soul level, reflect on your emotional needs and personal growth and consider what you're ready to release from the past. This preparation will make the lunar eclipse less unsettling and more positive in its transformative power. On Friday morning, October 27, the nearly full Aries moon forms a conjunction with Chiron. Communicate openly with those you trust about your vulnerabilities, potentially leading to deeper emotional connections and understanding. This brief but potent transit can bring a mood of self-discovery and a desire for honest, heartfelt conversations with loved ones. Reflecting and releasing now before the eclipse can be very helpful. Amid the intensity of Scorpio season, the building conjunction of Mars and Mercury in Scorpio, opposing expansive Jupiter in Taurus, stirs a desire for transformation and growth, with the risk of fueling overconfidence, impulsivity and willful conflict. We are dealing with fixed signs after all. Balancing Scorpio's deep transformative energy with Taurus's practicality is crucial. Use this intensity to have heartfelt conversations with loved ones, Focus at work on strategy to achieve your goals, and on a soul level, take time out for introspection to explore your inner passions. What do you truly desire? At the same time, be cautious of overconfidence and impulsive decisions, particularly in emotional and financial matters. The passionate energy can cause conflict, so think before speaking and consider your audience, whether loved ones or colleagues. At its best, this potent energy is incredible for personal growth and building stronger connections. This evening, the Aries moon is conjunct the North Node while forming a challenging T-square with Pluto and Capricorn. This sparks visions of the future and it's a reminder that striving for self-actualization is not a selfish endeavor. It's a cosmic nudge to pursue personal growth and aspirations, even if it requires confronting some powerful forces and obstacles. What or who is holding us back? 
By walking an authentic path on the journey towards self-realization, each of us can contribute positively to the world. One self-reliant individual cooperating with another self-reliant individual at a time. On Saturday, October 28, in the overnight hours, the moon went void of course before entering Taurus at 4.44 a.m., now in the sign of its exaltation and today's lunar eclipse. The full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus occurs just before 1.30 p.m. It's the closing act for the eclipse season on the Taurus-Scorpio axis that began in 2021. Taurus, an Earth sign ruled by Venus, is associated with material security, values, and the physical world. This eclipse has us focusing on these areas, prompting changes related to finances, possessions, self-worth, and personal values. It's a time for all of us to reflect on the themes these early eclipses unveiled. For instance, consider financial decisions or investments you made since 2021 and whether these were effective. In relationships, we might have realizations, resolve conflicts, or redefine boundaries. People may experience shifts in personal values and priorities, reassessing what truly matters to them. Ultimately, it's about moving forward with the lessons learned and setting the stage for a more secure and fulfilling future, whether emotionally or on the material plane. During this eclipse, the conjunction of Mars and Mercury in Scorpio sparks intense and passionate communication. Conversations can become deeper and emotionally charged, leading to profound discussions with partners. We could uncover hidden compulsions, secrets, and desires. However, as both personal planets oppose Jupiter and Taurus, there's a risk of overconfidence, which might lead to heated confrontations. If in doubt, breathe and pause before unleashing all your desires or frustrations on an unwitting partner. Later in the night, when the moon joins Jupiter to oppose Mars and Mercury, emotions may run even higher. Sleep could certainly be fitful. If staying up late, we will need to find the sweet spot between strong emotions and a down-to-earth approach to how we communicate, especially with those closest to us. Eclipses are often considered powerful times for releasing rituals, and this being the final one in the Scorpio Taurus set, it's perfect for letting go of what no longer serves us, whether that's old habits, negative emotions, or situations that are holding us back. This will make space for new intentions and fresh energy in the Aries Libra axis. On Sunday, October 29, as we recover from the lunar eclipse in Taurus of yesterday, the intensity lingers. This morning, Mercury and Mars in Scorpio are exact in their conjunction. Navigating the energy, especially after their opposition to Jupiter in Taurus, calls for a balanced approach. Do some deep cleaning and decluttering, allowing the physical act to mirror an emotional release. Be mindful in conversations. Yes, we can have and desire honest communication, but watch the level of intensity. Secrets could also be coming out. Be cautious not to overindulge in eating or intense activities, finding a middle ground to channel the very potent energy constructively. As the afternoon unfolds, tensions ease with the Taurus moons trying to Venus in Virgo. Connect with a good friend, have a delicious home-cooked meal, or go for a forest stroll, pumpkin spice latte in hand. Things could get a little unpredictable with the lunar conjunction to Uranus later tonight. Expect the unexpected, new people could suddenly appear that make things interesting. Embrace change as an opportunity for growth and let spontaneity guide your choices. As we head to bed, the moon makes a lovely sextile to Neptune, calling for deep sleep and sweet dreams. Next week, as we usher in the new month, on Saturday, November 4th, Saturn's direct station in Pisces marks a significant turning point. It signals a shift in responsibilities and a gradual lifting of obstacles, allowing us to make more progress in our goals. Also, Venus in her final days in Virgo connects with the three outermost planets, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. Next week, she bestows rewards, navigates final moments of potential confusion and sets the stage for profound transformations in our lives and relationships. A cosmic transition before she finds her balance in Libra. I wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for joining me here. As always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe and please write me a comment below. I truly appreciate you and the kind messages you leave.